Cheryl Van Buskirk, and I'm here today with Professor Reem Med, who is the current program coordinator for the Biology Honors Program. Thanks, Dr. Med, for taking the time to talk to me and tell me more about the honors degree. Thanks, Cheryl, for asking about the Biology Honors Program. Um, it's a significant component of our undergraduate curriculum, and it's available to students pursuing either the BA or the BS in biology. Um, it's actually designed for the exceptional undergraduate student who uh, wants to get some advanced training in lab or field research. And it provides an opportunity to these students to do original research under the guidance of a faculty member in the biology department. So it sounds like an honors degree is a lot more than just having a good GPA. Oh, yes, exactly. Uh, what the honors degree does is it allows you to do research in a faculty mentor's lab and also to write a thesis um, based on your research. And in addition to all of the courses that you have to take, there are three courses that are required to be taken in the honors program. So I think I'm familiar with a couple of these. There's a Biology 330, which is Design and Analysis of Experiments with Lab, and Biology 495, which is Directed Undergraduate Research. Um, but there's one more than that, isn't there? Yes, the third one is uh, Biology 498, which is the senior thesis, and that's actually the only additional course that's required uh, to be in the honors program, and it allows uh, the student to write a thesis based on the research that they've done in the lab. So when is a good time for a student to start thinking about whether or not the honors program is right for them? Okay, if a student has completed 90 units of uh, undergraduate work and has maintained a 3.5 GPA, then they can formally apply for the honors program. Uh, first, they have to obtain permission from a faculty mentor who is going to supervise their research, and then they write an abstract based on um, the proposed work. And uh, then they submit an application form to the Biology Honors Program Committee. So uh, as a student, where could I find the application and find out who the current program coordinator is? Uh, you can either uh, have the student uh, check with the biology office or the biology advisement office, and they'll be able to tell you who the program coordinator is and how to get the application materials. So if a student has already been doing research in a faculty member's lab, maybe as a volunteer, um, but not as a part of an official 495, can that research still count towards their honors degree thesis? Yes, uh, that's fine. As long as they've been doing research, they can apply that towards their honors thesis. Uh, but they must take at least one semester of uh, biology 495. So how does a student go about signing up for a bio 495? Is it just like any other course? Uh, not exactly. Uh, for signing up for 495, what the student has to do is first find a faculty mentor. Um, you know, you can find a list of uh, the faculty members and their research interests on the biology website. So basically find something that interests the student and then go talk to the faculty mentor and um, make sure that they have um, the approval to work in that faculty men mentor's research program. Uh, and then fill out a 495 form, which um, I think you can get from the biology office also. Right. I've noticed in the course catalog that there's more than one bio 495. There's a 495A, 495B. How does a student know which one is right? Okay, so those different uh, sections of 495 correspond to the broad areas of research that our department has. And so usually the faculty mentor will be able to tell them which exact 495 section to sign up for. And they can even ask uh, the advisement office for that. So do graduate schools and professional schools give preferential entry to students with an honors degree? What are, what are the perks of having an honors degree? Um, well, um, first of all, uh, very few students get a degree with honors. And this is typically less than 1% of all of our graduating undergraduates. So it's actually very prestigious to have a graduating degree with honors. In addition, because it's so prestigious and it's a uh, you know, so few students have it. You stand out when you apply for professional programs. Uh, you know, among the hundreds of applications, uh, yours will stand out. And then, in addition to that, uh, you basically get uh, training in uh, research, and you can um, write a thesis, which is a document that you can show as proof that you've done some original research. 
So I think some students might find the idea of writing a thesis daunting. So are there some examples to go from? How long should it be? Um, well, it's not that daunting. Uh, first of all, uh, you have your mentor to train you and guide you in writing the thesis. Uh, it's usually uh, just uh, whatever research you've done, you write it in a scientific format. Um, there are guidelines in place, and so they can consult those guidelines. And there are examples also uh, about already completed honors thesis. It's about maybe 20, 30 pages long. And these include figures as well as tables and bibliography. So it's, um, I don't think it's that daunting. Um, you get all the help you need to do the thesis. So are there any other perks to having an honors degree? Um, well, first of all, you get a special recognition from the department, a certificate and recognition at the graduation ceremony. Um, the honors thesis page will have a signature sheet uh, which has the signatures of all of the members of the honors committee. Uh, your uh, undergraduate diploma will say that you're graduating with honors in your specific area of biology. Um, and then uh, I just want to emphasize that the honors program is not just about getting a specific diploma, but that it allows you to experience how original research is done. It prepares you professionally for an advanced study in your area of uh, biology. And it in inducts you in the select few um, candidates who are exceptional and have a bright future ahead. Well, that sounds like something that all of our majors should be striving for. Thank you so much for taking the time to tell us today about the program. Thank you, Shell. It was my pleasure.